Okay, we're going to look into a Coptic girl's DNA. She's had it sent away to 23andMe. Now, the oddity inside of this is not going to be that the Coptics don't show up to be exactly D Egyptian DNA. The oddity to me is how they categorized certain genetic people are from certain areas and what they categorize them as. So I want to show this to you and see what you think. I've got some regulars that are into genetics, uh, genetics, so let's see what this means to you more than what it seems to mean to me and her. Uh, when I look at my results, I'm pretty much made up of two components. Um, when we look at a breakdown of my results, uh, at the top, I, you can see that I'm mostly 76.6% North African and around 20% Middle Eastern. So you add those two together, it's 98.6. Everything else is just trash down here. She's got 0.7%, European 0.1, Ashkenazi, uh, Southern European 0.1, so on. Sub-Saharan 0.1, yeah, uh, East Asian 0.1. So let's look at this and watch how this breaks down when we look at what North African would be. Um... When I try to get a little bit of uh, an understanding of what this is comprised of, um, we see that the North African component is uh, made up of a specific sample size. That it, and it tells you here, over the last several millennia, the Sahara has been a significant geographic barrier for people of Africa, although trade routes between the northern and southern parts of the continent have long existed Northern Africa has been strongly influenced by people of the Middle East and Southern Europe. But then whenever it shows you North Africa, strangely to me, it shows me Palestinian listed under there. And Palestine is not in Africa. I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, but it's out in the Levant and really not in Africa itself. And you have Bedouins. You have Mozabites. She shows up partial Egypt here, but at 28 out of the 100 of it. Palestine, it's, that's definitely not there. Morocco, Algeria, that's North Africa. Saudi Arabia, well, that's, that's a peninsula way over here. It's, that shouldn't be in North Africa. Tunisia, okay, Jordan. Well, no, Jordan's definitely up in the Levant. Jordan's definitely not considered North African. Then there's Yemen. Yemen is not, no, Yemen is definitely not in North Africa. What's Ku Kuwait is definitely, I, I remember that from the conflict, it's definitely not part of North Africa. United Arab Emirates, Bahrain, uh, this is going over to the Tigris Euphrates area over there, these, uh, that's not, that's not North African. Look, North African, her percentage is Palestinian, Saudi Arabia, Jordan, Yemen, Kuwait. I, that, that makes no sense to me whatsoever. That they would categorize those as being North African and not in the Middle Eastern portion of her DNA. Does that make any sense to anybody? Includes people from Palestine, Bedouins, Mozabites, Egypt, Palestine, Morocco, Algeria, and so on. So... Um, that is what is comprising that main component. It just seems uh, strange. And when I look at my Middle Eastern results, I see that it is mainly comprised of, just waiting for it to load here, Iran, Turkey, Druze, Iraq, Lebanon, Syria, Cyprus, and so on. So Yeah, Armenia, Georgia, which is way up near the Caucasus and Azerbaijan. Um, but what it's, am I wrong that in Middle Eastern, Yemen and Bahrain and these places that are in the Middle East should be on here? Even to the point of Palestine and places like that should probably be in this line? Am I, am I wrong about that in some way, people? Well, I'm not sure where that 20% is coming from. Uh, I know that both sides of my family are 100% Coptic. Right. I don't know of any... Um, anyone coming from outside of Egypt. Right. So that Middle Eastern component is pretty surprising to me. Um, 
Yeah. Is it really surprising whenever we find out that the ancient Egyptian DNA showed up to be Middle Eastern and so on? Does that, you know, an Anatolian and of course European, people don't like to hear that in the part of it, but sure enough, it shows up to be matching those people up there. She has very little European at all into her, 0.7%, showing a whole lot of Middle Eastern and African, and 76% North African. But then whenever it says North African, it pinpoints her as being a larger percentage, more of an Arabic person. And we, I think we know what happened after the end of Alexander the Great and everything. Now people had moved around, but uh, this... I don't know. To me, it's just weird how they categorize those two things. It's showing her 76% North African, 19% Middle Eastern, and it looks more to me like she's 76% Middle Eastern and 20% North African. Am I wrong? Am I wrong? Must be from somebody, uh, you know, way back. But 20% is quite a lot. Must be from somebody way back. I'm thinking way back. Yeah, I'm thinking way, way back. But... Let's continue. Um, I don't get uh, much of anything else. I'm guessing that the rest is pretty much noise. Uh, European is at 0.7%, um, and Sub-Saharan African is at 0.1%, and East Asian and Native American is less than 0.1%. I thought I would get more Sub-Saharan African, being that, you know, um, Egyptians, you know, Egypt is in Africa, and our neighbors... Uh, you know, we, we border with Sudan and Nubians and things like that. So I, I did think that we would have, I'd have a little bit more of Sub-Saharan African, but... No, in fact, there's very little Sub-Saharan African ever shown in any Egyptians and stuff like that. They seem to have a cultural difference between each other, and it's pretty easily seen. It's not just the color of the skin, either. And uh, it's amazing in America, black people try to portray the black people as actually being the Egyptians. But what's amazing to me on this is the categories that they've put things in. She did this here a couple of Christmases ago. I just found this up, Coptic girl. I thought, hey, well, let's check out her DNA because I know what they say about the Coptics, and they are closer related to the Egyptians than most of the people that are in Egypt right now. That was stated clear and plain. You're like, okay, well, what a Coptic show up then? And I've looked at a few of these, and there's been some variation on the theme and a lot of Europeans showing up, but there's a whole lot of that Tunisia type thing showing up in that Carthaginian and that Phoenician type DNA showing up in them uh, slightly too along with a lot of other places but in her DNA it seems radically different than the other guys I, I probably should show you both of these but the other guys I'm pretty positive did not put any of those in the category that it put hers in and had him flip-flop a little bit different it was like 68 you know 32 now hers is 76 19 well his was flipped the other way it was saying Middle Eastern so that was kind of odd but uh, this one's the oddity here to me not the other one because the other one said Yemen was Middle Eastern this one's not saying Yemen's Middle Eastern this one actually called it North Africa anyhow guys let me know in the comments what you think here, but yeah, this is Coptic DNA and a reveal on it, and uh, kind of strange, and she seems to be straight Coptic. Of course, you'd have to take about a few thousand Coptics or more to really get a good feel of what was going on and maybe the little slight variations that are on the theme, but yeah, let me know what y'all think in the comments. Peace.